Hello, it's Jane from JD Papercrafts here. Uh, I've been teaching my Zoom class a few uh, table favours for Christmas, so I thought I'd come on and do a video for this one. Um, it's a very easy one to do. Uh, you can do it in various sizes, really. That one I did with a six inch square of paper. This time I'm going to do use a four and a half inch square just because it's what I had left over from something else. Um, so all you do is start with the square of paper. Whichever side you want as your outside should be underneath at this point and bring one corner across to the other corner. And take your bone folder and fold that. So you've now got a diagonal fold. I'll undo that to show you where, where the fold goes. Okay. Now take the corner of that. It doesn't matter if you go down to here or down to here, but take it down to line up. You want to line this edge along this fold but don't fold it just take it down to there make sure that it's curling round and not folding round line it up so that it would be across so if you did fold it it would be lined up and then pinch that point so just put a little pinch mark there now take the opposite point and bring that across to where your pinch point is and then fold that. Now if you undo that you can now get you've now got another pinch point as it were. So do the same with the opposite corner. Bring that across to that pinch point make sure it's lined up correctly and then fold. Now at this point what I like to do is to fold this piece down to get your line of where it's going to fold. Give that a little bit of finish as well. Now if you bring your original corner back in and make, make a, open it out a bit so that you've got a, a pocket there. What you want to do is feed that flap that you've just folded down into there. And push it down until you get to the fold mark. That you just made. And that's it made. And all you have left to do then is decorate it. It has a nice little pocket. Uh, and that, it's about two inches wide, that one. That one is, it's about three and a half inches wide. And four and a half inches tall. This one is three and a quarter inches tall and about two and a half inches wide. I'll give you an idea of what size you'll end up with from your piece of paper. I remember that one was made with a four and a half inch square and that one with a six inch square. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll speak to you next time. Bye for now.